Morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holder Community, Oceania Mahundoke, together with Reverend Yataki Yamato, who's giving his uh, special testimony today, which is Sunday, the 28th of May, 2023, or the 10th of April in the 11th year of Chongyo Guk. So let's begin with a bow to our true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind, Chanji Chanpumlinge Chumbe. Paru. And uh, let's uh, recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajon Mense Sa. Tonil Kuk Chuin, Uri Kajogun, Cham Sarangal Chunshimago, Hanil Pumonime Tanjo Isain, Tanju Te Kajogul Hanson Hayo, Tayua, Pyohawa, Toilgua, Hemboge Seger. Family pledge number four. Our family, the owner of Chongil Guk, pledges to build the universal family encompassing heaven and earth, which is the heavenly parents' ideal of creation, and perfect the world of freedom, peace, unity, and happiness by centering on true love. Thank you. I'd like to ask... Uh, Chris Bruce, if you could offer the opening prayer, please. Morning, everyone. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Parent and True Parents, we're so grateful now to have our True Mother dedicating her life to changing this world. We have missions in front of us. We really hope that through this day we can gain inspiration to be active, to be able to find ways to influence the people that come into our surroundings, that we can guide them and really inspire them to connect to our true parents. Heavenly Parent, we know that we, intellectually, we know many things, but how do we give life to these people? How do we bring them to understand? It's only through touching the heart of true parents, accepting them, that people's minds and hearts can be expanded to understand, really understand the goals of world peace that we have worked together. People have various opinions about politics and uh, the way that the world should be restored. But at the very least, we have to find people with a common base to unite this world in a peaceful way and really bring this world together. We know our true mother so desperate now to get these final stages of the foundation together to really realise the goals we've got for 2027. So I pray we can all uh, rededicate ourselves, find some small way to improve this morning and through this day. Thank you now. And I'm Kristen Debbie Bruce, sent for his family. Oh, June. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, let's give a warm welcome to Ram Yutaka as he shares this morning. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, uh, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining today's uh, morning, okay. especially every Sunday. Uh, we are having the family testimony or each person's uh, life story day. So we are really grateful to listen all the time. And also as a family member, if we can have this kind of occasion, it's really great. And finally, uh, the, my time is coming. So usually I don't speak so much myself. But anyway, just share my life story. So uh, just I think I hope you to listen. And also, I want to share those several stories, so especially relating with church and also the life of faith. Uh, one day is maybe not difficult to finish, maybe continuation next time. But anyway, I want to share my life. Uh, when I reflect my life, uh, the life of faith and even my life itself, I could say, I could say, I can set the divide the three, three times. Uh, three, uh, three period. First period is the 
childhood time or youth time. Second, second period is university or the time when I received the training more, frontline training. And third term is kind of the public uh, mission time. So during that time, there are many uh, suffering or struggling or many things. Especially, I receive many training during the uh, childhood time. So I will share from the childhood or life itself. So this is my current family. Already my, I have uh, my wife and uh, four daughters. So we are living in Sydney. They are so much happy now. So this is my childhood time. My father and also my mother and I have uh, two, now two younger brother and one sister. That time youngest one was not born yet. So this is my family. So when I, when I first meeting with our church or movement is in 1984. So that time I was uh, kindergarten, I think. So that time, because there was a strong memory and that is the beginning memory with our church. So you could see uh, kindergarten time, maybe six years old. I was so much enjoy my life in the kindergarten. So my story was starting from that point. So kindergarten time, uh, we, I'm also enjoy the kindergarten life. And almost graduation, graduation moment is closing. That's why all children is practice to receive some certificate from teacher in front of all peoples. So I was so much excited to join the kindergarten uh, graduation ceremony. I really remember. But one day before, suddenly my father said, you cannot join the graduation ceremony. Now we have to go to some place. That's why I really cry so much. I don't need to go somewhere. I really wanted to want to join this graduation ceremony. If you want to go, please go by yourself. But parents so much score me and uh, really you have to go together. That's why no choice. Because six years old, how I can fight with my father. So I follow that. So that place was Korea. So that time, I think there was some kind of a tour, Korean tour. So my parents was witnessed around that time, 1984. So they joined to some Korean tour and I follow together to Korea. So anyway, that time was so much sad or painful because I wanted to join the graduation ceremony. But anyway, no choice. Then I went to Korea. So when I went to Korea, even small memory, but I remember so much strong impression. I went to Korea, some stay, some hall, a hotel, and I could not drink the water. I wonder in Japan, we are we can de drink the tap water all the time. But when I went to Korea, I could not drink the tap water. And someone say, now dangerous situation. If you take photo to the northern side, police will catch you or army catch you or something. We also went to the 38 parallel. There are many tank and uh, there are many kind of war place. So even small time, I really remember that kind of strong impression. And also we went to the little angels. Some that time I felt some kind of dancing and I asked, they asked me to go to the stage and I offer the flower to little angels. And the little angel small girl also kissed me to my cheek. So anyway, those things I remember. So that moment was the first experience with Korea. And I think this is the starting moment of our, my life of faith. So that's why uh, difficulty and also a strong uh, impression or inspiration that time together. So this is my family. So and I could not find the many photo. So this is school time, the primary school time. This is a little bit older already, but uh, when I go to the primary school, maybe this is maybe 12 years old, but the eight years old, if after coming back to school, every time I, I have to go to the church by myself. So uh, when I 
remember when I reflect that moment, I think parents is really also bold because eight years old boy and they gave me some kind of coin and I went to church by myself by riding the train. So even small boy, but parents allow me to go to the church by myself. So anyway, Japan was so much safety. So even six or seven years old, uh, they can ride a train by oneself. I'm not sure, but that time was possible. And usually in Japan movement, the breast wife is doing hard work. Every time breast wife go to church early morning and come back uh, late night. That's why my mother case, every time I, she went to church early morning and maybe come back 7 p.m. for cooking dinner and also going to church again. So I think always uh, my mother came back 11 p.m. or 12 p.m. continuously, especially my mother was kind of the breast wife leader. So every time she is busy and she rece receive the phone call. So when I was uh, eight, eight years old or nine years old, some year three, year two, year three, after school, I wanted to share many my school story, my friend, my school life. I tried to share to my mother, but uh, even I'm waiting in the house, but mother doesn't come back eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. So I was so much sad. And sometimes mother come back earlier. That's why I try to share my story. But every time many phone is coming to her, and even I try to share, but some once call is coming to my mother, then my mother just uh, received a call and almost uh, stop my communication. That's why even my small time, I'm so much sad. And also I determine if my mother doesn't want to listen to my story, I don't share anymore. So that's kind of a uh, situation was there. And also the Sunday, uh, even I wanted to pray with my friend, but my father is really strong. Every time, even I try to say, I want to pray with my friend, but uh, father forced me to put, my, put the car, put me to the car and go to the church. So every Sunday and also the early, uh, first month, first day of the month. Uh, also, there is the Kyombe ceremony, pledge service 5 a.m. So that time, uh, uh, parents wake, wake us up and also do the uh, Kyombe ceremony 5 a.m. that time. But anyway, even I'm not so much, uh, I don't like so much that one. But my father, anyway, wake, woke up every day uh, at 5 a.m. and he was doing the fundokke by himself. That things I remember and that things I think and admire. So those father and mother's any foundation for God and life of faith. So because of their sacrifice and foundation, uh, I believe my family, myself will also be connected our movement well. Of course, that, that time I could not recognize how much those investment is great. Just I'm many struggling hard as the children. But now I remember my what father did, my what mother did, I could uh, recognize. And after that, also continuously, I joined also the second generation department with my second gen friend. So every Sunday, uh, main purpose to go to Sunday school is to meet the friend. So teacher, every time they are not talking something, writing down the many lecture contents, but I don't totally remember. I just waited to end the Sunday school and I'm so much excited to play with my friend. So I also attended many workshop, second gen workshop. And that time, if there are, there are two days or three days workshop, we joined that workshop well, but evening or night time, just woke up around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., woke up with my friend and I go to the kitchen and the secretary, I ate some kind of snack or the dessert or just uh, walk around outside 
well, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. At that, one, that time, kind of the fun, you know, the middle, uh, middle high school age, just our boy friend, church second gen friend, they are really enjoy. And, uh, and this is the high school time. High school time, anyway, my mother is always going to the mission, usually going to the local church every day. But around that time, 1992, three, four, five, around that time, uh, suddenly mother said, I have to go to the mission to another country. And once she say, maybe a few months doesn't come back or two years or three years didn't come back. So that time there was some kind of providence, 1,600 or 4,200 uh, Japanese wife, some kind of the missionary providence. So that time my mother's mission country was uh, uh, Uruguay, South America, and sometimes also to the America. So that time, a uh, really long time mother was not in the house. So myself was already adjust the situation, but my youngest brother, uh, 14 years younger than my, myself, really so much cry or suffering at the time. So around that time, teenager time, all the time I have kind of the loneliness to my parents' love and also the struggling or kind of the uh, opposing, uh, uh, resisting heart to my parents because always parents is church, parents is go somewhere. But my one one good good environment for myself is because of the second gen department. There is a youth leader, kind of the student leader who are uh, the university student, and he uh, took care of us well. So even there is no mother in the house, and my father was kind of the scared. And, existence always score me or always stop me that's why not so i didn't talk so much my with my parents so there are loneliness in my family but those our second gen brothers and sisters and also the those leaders i receive many love so those receiving love this moment or this environment was really helped my life of faith or my life itself so that time I'm really happy to meet every time those second gen director or department leader. So that was so much happy time. And one of my big transition point of the life of faith is that when I was 17 years old, the, when I attended the second generation world workshop in the national level in Japan. So at that time, uh, in the local church, I was kind of the eldest among the 30 or 20 second gen. That's why always I am also the student leader in the second gen department, the student leader at that time. So always I'm taking care or I was top in my group around 30 or 20 second gen. But that workshop, in the national workshop, when I joined that one, Total around the 300 second gen came from all over half of Japan. And many second gen were there. That's why I was, I was so much uh, surprised and also uh, really excited and really so shocked. When I see those second generation, many people are talking about how many times they are reading the divine principle or divine principle books. Until that moment, I thought I am the top in this community, but when I see another brother and sisters, even they are younger than me, but they read divine principle many times. Even I didn't know what is divine principle. Maybe I saw many times, but I could not recognize what is divine principle book. So that time I was so much shocked. And in the same time, there was team leader for our group. And basically, the person who went to the summer university, those university second gen elder came, came to this workshop and they became the team leaders. So at that workshop, some Korean leader gave the lecture in Korean language and we listened the all contents through translator. But 
those Korean, uh, those elder brother and sisters, team leader, uh, they could understand the Korean lang language directly. Lecturer some, say something, then they laugh first, then we are uh, waited to be translated, then we listen translation, then understand. And also those elder brothers and sisters, really they embrace younger brothers and sisters and really show the kind of the vision. That's why I was so much admired to see the elder brothers and sisters. So when I saw them, I also determined I want to become those elder brother and elder sister. And I wanted to go to some university. I want to study Korean language and I wanted to meet our true parents. And also I determined, decided a dream. I will live for God and I will save the human beings and I will go to the world. So that is kind of the even young time, but I decided my dream. I will go to the all over the world. So from that time, my attitude toward the church or life of faith was changed. I tried, started to lead the divine principle myself. And even my parents gave the Bible. So I started to lead the Bible. So for until that moment, I just a follower to the environment. But from that moment, uh, I maybe that, that time was kind of the starting time to go my life of faith by myself. So during that time, so all the time, there are a big blessing. Then there is also that trial. When I reflect my life itself, there are, of course, many challenges, not only young time, but uh, there are so much uh, big challenges in my life was in this youth time. Uh, one of the most difficult time is uh, after graduating high school and before going to the summer university. So this is the youth time when I was 18 uh, years old. So when I go try to go to the summer university, many people said summer university is a really great place, but in the same time, there are many trial or temptation or challenges. That's why before going to the summer university, it's better for you to receive training. That's why I joined the kind of the center and joined the center life together with our elders. And I started to do the fundraising, witnessing, and center life. And that time someone suggested there is kind of the fundraising team to the national. So you, if you go there, then you will ride the car and you will uh, do the fundraising for or two months, and but you could receive many experience and many love. That's why I was so much excited, and I joined uh, this fundraising team to ride the car. So that time, my fundraising team total number is kind of the eight people. So every day we receive the message, the way of God's will, and doing the fundraising, and also overcoming. There are many rejection, of course and uh, difficulty, but more than that, how to love God, how to embrace people. So this excitement was also uh, great. And I met God, I received many God's love. So I was so much inspired. So that time, our policy, if there is a house or office or shop, you should not skip even any one house. So my captain told me, that's why I went all houses, all shops, and all offices or any place. Someday, when I did the big city in Japan, there, are, there was kind of 40 floor tall building, office building. So I was so much nervous, but I believe God, and I entered to the office. So I went to the 40 floor, and 39 and 38, I came from top to down and visited office one by one. So that time I was so much nervous. And some floor, uh, it was not office, only some uh, big uh, meeting room. And maybe 400 people's capacity, big meeting room was there. And 50 people uh, having meeting in front of the meeting room. That's why when I try to open the door, some kind of the meeting was going on. That's why I was so much struggling. Should I? talk with them or should I skip this room? But 
uh, because I believe and I promise with God I will not skip any kind of houses or room. That's why I'm struggling and I went to the toilet room and pray and I led the way of God's will. So that day, uh, the day of God, the, the way of God's will, Father's message this. Even when I was being tortured in prison, I first considered God who had his own reasons that required him to go rather than the God who told him to go when God sent him on such a path. So when I read this message, I felt, yeah, God, you are the one who gave this environment and there is some special meaning. That's why you asked me to go this place. So I determined before, I, before my thinking, this is God's will, I will go. That's why I opened the meeting, meeting room door and I shout to the people who are having meeting in front. And I say, I, I am like this. So of course, few people came to me and few, then they uh, kicked me out. But I keep my promise with God and I really continue to go forward. So anyway, these two months fundraising time period, I was so much inspired, always really felt God's love and the really inspiration. I love my captain and my captain's smile it was my happiness. So like this. So that team was around 88 people and I was youngest. And there are another elders, 25 or 30, 30, 30 years old. And every day, actually, my result was top. So some elder brother asking me, why you can get a good result? What is your secret? So now, if I reflect myself at, around that moment, I was so much young and immature, and I was so much uh, arrogant. But I told, I answered to my elders, yeah, it's not, you know, it's easy to make a result. Just believe God and just love God and do your best. Then you can get the result. So that kind of the, my answer was like this. I think I was really arrogant. So anyway, I love God in best all the time. I got the top result. So it looks like another elder brother and sisters always suffering and no result. And always now the struggling. So I wonder why elder brother, they are so much concerned or struggling. Anyway, I was so much happy. But someday, around after one, one, one month, half, around one, almost one week time, suddenly my result was stopped. Even I'm investing all the moment continuously, but suddenly no result. That's why I told to share my difficulty to the captain. I'm doing well, I'm loving God, I'm believing God, but I don't know why I cannot get the result. And I don't know who is God. And I started to share to my captain. Then captain, captain told me, do you think you are the special? Actually, you are not nothing special. Actually, you don't have any meaning to be born on this earth. You are misunderstanding. You are thinking you are special, but you are not, you are nothing. So when I listen this word from my captain, I so much heart and really cry the whole night because I really love my captain. I trusted my captain, but my captain totally ignored myself. And he said, you have not, not, no reason to be born on this earth. That's why I so much shocked at that time. And maybe after that, some Sunday service time, I received some message. All the environment has God's will. That's why you have to find. So this word was, was remaining in my mind. But uh, really, the last two weeks, I totally don't remember what I did. I'm so much suffered. I lost uh, all confidence. And when I go back to my local church and I shared my experience to my Abel also. Abel was my trusted person also. When I shared to Abel, because my captain told me I was so hard. They, but I asked to my able, but am I the children of God, right? I asked to my able, this second gen department able, then able said, yeah, this captain's word is true. Second gen and the Jake will child is different. 
Second thing is God child, but Jacob child is a Satan child. That's why you are not the God child. You are the Satan child or foreign children. So that moment I was so much hurt again. I believe I am, I am the children of God. I have so much confidence to do everything. But my captain told me, my also the second gen department leader told me I was so much painful and suffer at that moment. And I remember I uh, really touched one, the holy song, the number 20, English one is number 29. He has called me. So without his team, without renown, I only wish to follow without his team, without renown, I only wish to follow. So before going to Korea, uh, really, I received many God's love, but in the same time, I received many rejection from my beloved Abel or beloved leaders. So this was uh, one of the most suffering or difficult uh, challenges or trial in my uh, life of faith. So after that, of course, there are many challenges, but at that moment, when I was 18 years old, uh, that moment, uh, really, I was so much painful or challenges. So more from that moment, of course, I received many training. And of course, I uh, struggled with my able or leader, sometimes able ignored me or uh, rejected me. But that moment, rejection was uh, so much uh, challenges or difficulty. So after uh, those training, anyway, joining also 21 days workshop, joining many program. There is excitement, good moment or difficult moment come together. Uh, but uh, anyway, those moment was one of the kind of the preparation or really training by God directly, totally denied my existence itself in the younger time. So that was a uh, younger age. And after those environment, uh, I went to Korea to join the Sambun University. So when I reflect my life, really those early time in Japan and joining to Sambun University or go to Korea. So that time was uh, kind of the, uh, the different, some that time period or changing or transformation uh, time period. When I go to Korea, I met the two parents physically First time when I joined the champion workshop, I met three parents and I was so much happy. I was so much really uh, inspired that moment. And also joined the summer university or a language course. It was so much also the excited moment. There was many story, some kind of battle between Korean people and Japanese people or many different story, but maybe I will share next time. And today also not so much enough time. In the, so today's uh, last story I want to share about the uh, blessing. So blessing side, uh, when I listened to the story of blessing, I was so much excited to receive blessing from nine, when I was 14 years old. So blessing is I received the education. Blessing is that originally men and women were one existence, but one existence was separated to each place in the world. And finally, both persons meet again. This is the blessing. That's why as much as we can, it's better to receive blessing quickly. That's why after graduating high school, I was thinking to receive blessing. But that time I was 18 years old. Even that time I could not apply blessing in Japan. But when I go to Korea, my age became 20 years old. That's why I could apply the uh, blessing document. So that time in some university, there are also 200, 300 second gen are there. And they also started to apply the blessing. I wanted to apply blessing and I applied to the blessing. But during that time, in order to apply the blessing, I need the big amount of donation. And also that time, 1997, the blessing venue was in America. That's why in order to go to America, I uh, really need the big fund. So until that time, I was many struggling with my physical parents. And also I was 
rejected many times from my father, but uh, I have to discuss with this matter. So I shared this matter. I want to, I want to receive blessing, even it cost a lot. And I thought it was it will be rejected again. But I shared this story, and my father didn't say anything. And father said, "Yes, if you want, you can receive blessing." And uh, money, money side, you don't worry anything. I will support everything. So when I listen this story, I really realize actually my parents really loved me so much. Even that time, until that time, I could not recognize my father and my mother's love. But actually, my parents loved me a lot. So from that moment, my view toward my physical parents was totally changed. So it was also big changes. So that time I applied a blessing and also I received a result of matching. That time two parents did the matching directory or photo matching many times. That's why many second gen received the uh, news. Today, they, their match was decided, their match was decided. And the day to going to America was getting close and close. So that time, but still, my matching was not decided. And someone said, if you go to America, even without a spouse, true parents will give that direct matching. That's why anyway, you have to go to America. That's why also I went to America. So this was the first experience for me to go to America. And I went to the Empire State Bill and I saw the New York City. It was so touched. Well, New York or America was so big country and I really I so much touched. The blessing, blessing day is continuously closing, but no announcement, but I was continuously waiting. Then one day before of blessing day, uh, I received a message. Now three parents will do the direct matching. So everyone come to the Washington hotel or highest bill, highest room and the met the three parents. So that time I get the taxi and I went to that room. Around 100 people are gathered at the room. And the three parents, we are waiting the true father and three parents. And they enter to the room and they started the direct matching. So I was so much nervous. And one by one, true father call men and women and they are matched. So I was waiting. 100 people became 90, 80. 70 number is decreasing and almost the I think 40 people are remaining. I thought uh, he will give matching to me, but around the 40 people then father said, now matching with finish. That's why 40 people could not get much. So I was so much also shocked. I believe I could receive matching and I could receive blessing. And even our three parents there, but I could not get much. And I was shocked again. Even Messiah didn't give me the blessing and maybe I was no qualification to receive matching. Even at that moment, I was there, but I could not receive matching. So I was so much shocked. So anyway, next day is the blessing day. You could see many brothers and sisters receive blessing. So I went there, take photo for them. And usually blessing ceremony, there are many dancing or performance or musical. So anyway, I try to enjoy with them. So I went to in front of a stage and I try to dance. Uh, but I saw around myself, all people are couple and only myself is my the single. That's why I'm also so much uh, sad. They are happy and I so much sad. And I came back to Korea in December. So came back from America and going back to December to Korea. And I was so much shocked. Even I met three parents, but I could not get the matching. That's why I thought I don't have any qualification. So I so much suffer a lot. So I had next year, 1998, there is, there is blessing again. But I really think should I receive, should I, should I apply blessing or not? It's maybe better not to apply this uh, blessing. So I really suffer at the time, but I, uh, this is the blessing for that time. So that time, but I decided to go to the champion workshop 
and I seriously offer the uh, devotion. So even the winter, Korean winter uh, is was so much cold, but I did the water, water shower, uh, what ice ice water condition, and also I went to the blessing trio blessing every day without wearing shoes. So every day go up there and pray and pray. What should I do? What should I do? Then I received a message and I received, I met the one national leader of Japan and he gave me some kind of the information and uh, it introduced one book. That time, 1997, there was kind of famous book, the Reverend San Hon Lee's Spiritual World Message. So he suggested me to read. So I read that book about the spiritual world. When I read the spiritual world, uh, I will I read the message of the spiritual world. The, the spiritual world was clearly explained. If you go to the spiritual world without receiving blessing, you will go to the another place. How much blessing is important? And our life is li- lifetime is limited. We don't know when we go to the spiritual world. So when I read this message, I thought. Yeah, even I don't have any qualification, but I don't know when I go to the spiritual world. That's why at least I have to receive blessing. So that time I really suffering, but I determined to receive blessing again and I apply the blessing. So that time also the blessing matching was not decided quickly. So myself, my friend was waiting in the dormitory. I already applied to go to America. 1998, blessing was also in the New York. 97 is in Washington. 98 was in New York, Madison Square Garden. So I applied to go to America, but I was not matched. So continuously, I waited the answer almost two or three days before going to America. I thought this time maybe no matching again, and I just go to America. So I was waiting, but I think two or three days before, suddenly I received a message. Now you are matched. So your name list, your name is on the name list in information board. That's why I went to see my matching result. Usually I applied. Any nationality is okay. And usually that time, my friend, Korean friend, Japanese friend, their matching were almost Korean, Korean, or Korean, Japanese, or Japanese, Japanese. So even I don't expect, but I thought maybe my matching is maybe Korean or Japanese like this. So because that, that is in Korea, all name list is in written in Korean language. So I saw my name list and I check where is my name? All things is written in Korean language, but my spouse part uh, name is name was in English and the nationality is Philippine. That's why I could not recognize in the beginning. I could not read fast. What, why my, my spouse name is in English? So I saw the name and nationality and I also saw shock because anyway, I apply, any nation is okay, but suddenly uh, without expectation, my spouse country is Philippine. So I, even I didn't know what is Philippine and what kind of spouse. So just I get this name or nationality and I went back to my room and I pray deeply. Wow, this is the matching. So seriously pray. What is your will? But that time I remember my mission, my will, my dream is to go to the all over the world and I have to embrace the people in the world. That's why uh, the person from Philippines is also the great blessing. So that time uh, determine again and again and pray deeply. And also I determine to go to uh, blessing together with this person. So I called uh, my wife. That time I could not speak in English. So I introduced myself with you, Takayamada. Who are you? What is your name? And almost uh, going to America, the little the short moment before going to America. So I could not have time. So we just introduced each other and I went to Korea, I went to America. 
So oh, that time, the blessing is 1997. So my wife could not go and myself uh, went to America. And this matching was just happened before blessing. That's why I tried to receive the photo, but I could not receive photo. I asked the office, where's my photo, my spouse photo? The office said, uh, already that photo was sent to Korea and I came to America. That's why even next day is blessing ceremony, but I don't know who is my spouse. I never see my spouse's photo. And I ask, please, anyway, I want to see my spouse's photo. Then office said, uh, now I have some kind of the, uh, the spare photo, but I, could, I can send by fax. So I said, even fax is okay, please send me. So that time I received blessing with my a fax photo of my spouse. So even I didn't meet my wife and I don't know who she is. I don't know the face. And even also information was not so much clear and just call in America again. Now I'm in America, I will receive blessing. Are you receive blessing or not? And she said, yes. That's why only just one or two conversation, then we receive uh, blessing. So that time, I'm really, anyway, I'm grateful to receive blessing because I determine any blessing is okay. Because if God decided and this person was already prepared by God, so I really uh, determined to go to the uh, blessing. So after that, I came back to Korea. Then I listen many stories. If you receive Filipino, there are many Filipino Korean blessing. If you receive Filipino, you have to, you have to start family immediately. Otherwise, uh, some problem. So that time I was, I think, 19 or 20 years old. And really I received this kind of instruction. So I was so much shocked. So anyway, after one month, uh, there was also a blessing ceremony in Philippines. So I went to Philippines. So you could see, uh, this is my wife. So 1998, after, uh, coming back to America, immediately we went to um, the Philippines, then we received the uh, blessing. So that time, I really, I'm so much happy and to meet my wife first time. So when I saw her first time, looks like similar feeling of my mother. So I went to church and also finished the blessing and I follow the Philippine life at the time, like the boat ride the bus and went to the hometown. And one, one of my surprising things is that when she received the blessing, just she joined the movement before two months. So just join movement, church two months and also apply blessing and join the matching and blessing. So I was so much surprised. And after that, we went to the hometown. This is my wife's hometown. One, another one, one surprising thing is that my wife didn't tell to the parents she will receive blessing. And she got the blessing. She brought me as the husband and to introduce to the parents. So parents were so much shocked. My wife, just two years older than me, and she didn't, didn't tell, just suddenly bring the husband to their families. So anyway, they are so much surprised, but they accepted well. So in Philippine community, you, you can see one village is the family or tribe together. So I could not feel so much family in love in my physical family in Japan. But when I joined this family, so much love, many parents, grandparents, grand grandparents, auntie or nephew or children, grandchildren, so many big family. So I receive big love and big, some kind of welcoming. So I was so much happy. So anyway, this is kind of the one of the story. Uh, my life is continue, uh, late, continuously, uh, but I think today uh, I don't have enough time. So my most challenging time or difficult training from God was my early age or younger time. And also some blessing is my changing time period through the things my life of faith and my life itself was started. So then after that, there are many determination for 
church leaders, full-time mission, or many another story. So anyway, uh, today I could not share everything, but I'm really happy to share my story to you. Uh, and also I'm appreciate to meet all of brothers and sisters. And also, of course, to the parents and my wife, my family, and my also leaders. So I'm really, once again, thank you for giving those opportunity to my life itself and so everything. So, and also thank you everyone for listening to my testimony. Thank you very much. Kamsamida. Kamsamida, thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka, for sharing your testimony with us. Uh, really uh, uh, to understand you uh, much more and, and uh, understand you know, how much you uh, uh, suffered in your young time and but still kept your determination. You know, it's, uh, I can see you know, how you developed your deep heart you know, through your, your suffering and your sadness. But then you receive, you know, always kept positive, always kept you know, uh, your love for, you know, for God and for, for true parents. And, and finally, you, know, you, you were matched and always you know, God works in mysterious ways. So uh, your, your matching and blessing is uh, definitely the, the best. <laughs> uh, so uh, thank you for sharing. And we look forward to listening uh, to, to the rest of your testimony some other time. So uh, I know time is uh, almost up. Uh, so if uh, anyone would like to make a comment, yeah, please do. Uh, yes, uh, Barbara, go ahead. It was just so moving, Reverend Yutaka, really so moving, and especially I can just imagine you as a little boy in that in that um, kindergarten waiting so you know excitedly for your graduation, and then whoosh, away you go, and then the whole Jacob's son business is just like, oh my god! So anyway. You know, it, it helps us to know you better and love you all the more. And thank you so much for sharing with us. It was very moving, very heartwarming and very moving indeed. We love you very much, Reverend. You know, we're so grateful that you're here with us as, you know, as our, as our central figure. It's really, really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, Debbie, go ahead. It's my microphone. Mm -hmm. well, I just felt like, you know, he had to go, Reverend Yutaka had to go through such a, a hard course, you know, to and to keep faith, even though he had so many, it's like Moses' course, you know, it was really, really difficult, you know, but uh, I was really appreciate and see why he's such a good leader, you know, because he had to go through so much, you know. Anyway, thank you. I really appreciate hearing that deep story. Yeah. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, Margaret. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so very much, Reverend Yamada. You're hardcore and uh, really appreciate your very detailed testimony uh, i didn't know so thank you once again for sharing yeah thank you margaret uh, go ahead chris yeah and then greg later yeah yeah morning everyone thank you reverend yamada and um so of course it's opened up now for Jacob children through your course and connecting to the Philippines. And I don't know how much people know about the Philippines, but the Providence started there. The One of our original leaders, John Dorosky, um, was a leader in the Philippines way back in the 80s. And the Philippines was having tremendous spiritual growth way back then. So it's been happening for a long time. But 
I also went to the Philippines as a tourist before I joined the church. And um, there's an extremely lot of sexual problems there. So um, you can see why the course, right? You can understand that the course that's been opened to, you know, with you, Reverend Yamada and, and uh, Mrs. Yamada, is incredibly important. And as I was listening, I couldn't help thinking um, when Father stopped blessing that, a matching and those 40 people left, we, we naturally think, oh, well, as you did, uh, they're not qualified. But I, I think it was the opposite. I think that those 40 people were somehow in a special circumstance and had to be tested. I'd love to know what happened to the other 40 people, the other 39 people that weren't matched. And I, I, I'm recently I've been being affected by Heavenly Father's heart and uh, Heavenly Parents' heart. And imagine if they were your own children and you had to put them through that course knowing that many of them might lose their faith. It's an incredibly difficult path for True Father and Heavenly Parents' course as well. So anyway, I just wanted to add that in there because it's, it's worth thinking about that. Anyway, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Yeah, so true. Yeah, yes, uh, Reverend Stone, go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Reverend Yutaka, for, for sharing your testimony. Uh, we've been, we've known you for a few years now, and um, uh, but to know someone's uh, testimony is something uh, much more and much deeper. So uh, we can see through that the, the making of a leader um, is very tough. And many times there's a like a a fork in the road. You can you can go to the left or you can go to the right. You can be, you know, the, the trial can be um destroy you actually. Or or you can find the way to have the right heart um to overcome even injustice or something which is really tough inside. And I think you've done that every time. And at the same time, also um, an incredible chong song. I mean, I can't imagine walking, walking up in the winter time up the hill in Chongpyong in bare feet. I mean, that is really unbelievable. Anyway, uh, but that that's the kind of thing that um, God will look on and just say, "Yep, well, this is this is my man." <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for sharing. That was a beautiful, a beautiful uh, sharing. God bless. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Reverend Stone. Thank you, Reverend Yutaka. Thank you, everyone. It's uh, time now for us to offer our unison prayer. So I'll just uh, share the screen and let's uh, pray together. Thank you.
Adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day and see you all again. And thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka. I really look forward to listening to part two. <laughs> thank you. Arigatouzaimasu. <laughs>